Okay, this is the next Mishnah in the same parak, in the third parak of Bavakama. And this Mishnah is going to talk about, again, two people who, who are walking in the street, except this time one of them is carrying a jug, which is a more delicate type of object, and the other one is carrying a beam of wood, something that is used for to support the roof, the ceiling of a house. Obviously, the beam is always going to be breaking the jug. The jug doesn't have the ability, the, the, the weight, to be able to break the barrel. So it's always going to be the barrel who's going to be breaking the jug. And the question is going to be, are there times where the guy with the barrel is responsible for the damages? Are there times where he's not responsible for the damages to the, to the jug? So says the mission as follows. Zeba bechavito. One was carrying a jug. Zeba bekorato. The other one is coming from a different direction with his beam. They're not following each other. They're both walking towards each other. Let's say they're coming towards a corner. Nishbera kado shelze bekorato shelze. And what happened is when they crash into each other, the beam broke the jug of the other one. The Mishnah says that in such a case, Potter, each one is exempt for the damage. There is damage here. The damage is to the guy carrying the jug. And there is no, there is no liability. The guy with the beam is not responsible for anything. Says the Mishnah, reason why is there no liability in this case? Because this one has permission to walk. And this one, the other one, also has equal permission to walk. They're both walking on the street. One is walking towards the intersection. The other one is coming the other direction towards the same intersection. They bang into each other. Each one had the right to do what they were doing. And therefore, no one is responsible for the damage caused. But the next case, Ayabalakore Rishon. However, now the Mishnah switches the case and says, if the Balakore, the guy with the beam, is ahead, Ubala Chavid Acharon, and he's being followed by the guy that has this container, this jug. Nishber Achavid Bakora, and what happens is that the guy with the jug, the jug is broken by the beam. So Patur Bala Kore, the guy with the beam is not liable for what happened to the guy walking behind him, says the Mishnah. But that's not always true. In this case that we just mentioned, the guy ahead, the guy with the beam, is not responsible for the damages caused to the guy in the back. Vim Ahmad Balakore. However, if the guy with the beam stopped, and because of that the guy behind him crashed into him and his jug broke, Chayav, then the guy who's walking ahead with the beam is Chayav. He's liable to pay for the damage that was caused to the guy behind him. Vim Amar Le Balachavit Amod. However, this is also not always true. If the guy said, if the owner, if the guy walking with the beam said to the guy carrying the jug, stop, which means that before he himself stopped, he yelled out to the guy in the back, stop, and then still the guy in the back crashes into the guy in the front, and as a result, the jug is broken, putter, then the guy in the front is not liable for the damages caused to the guy in the back. The reverse case, which is the same. Allah. Ayabala Bayd Rishon. Now suppose that the guy with the jug is ahead. Ubala Koreacharon, the guy with the beam, is walking behind. Nishbira Chavid Bakore. If the jug is broken by smashing into the beam, Chayaf, then he is going to be Chayaf. Because the uh, guy in the back crashed into the guy in the front. So the guy in the back is going to be Chayef. However, im amad balachavit, if the bala, if the guy in the front with the jug stopped, then Potter, then the guy in the back who crashes into the guy in the front is Potter. He's not liable for the damages. Vim amar le bala kore amod. However, the guy with the jug screams out to the guy in the back who's carrying the beam and he says, stop. And still the guy in the back crashes with his beam into the guy in the front, Chayav. Then the guy in the back is Chayav and he has to pay for the damages caused to the guy in the front.